the body, uh, kinetic energy, pure energy, uh, work done by the four upper moment. Okay. So this concept, we already learned how to do it. Now you're focusing on what happened to the central. Because you learned this one, I think, the four chapter in the region. Now we go into rigid body. So we focus everything on central. Your test two, we need to cover F equal to MA, rigid body. So um, after today, you should be able to do test two, question two, question that you'll cover uh, Newton laws, work, energy, principal impulse and momentum one will be in the final. Now, if you see this diagram, you should already be familiar. Huh? So you'll have a uh, y axis, x axis, and then there's a point P there, point P pointing to I, so there's an R, and then this, this object rotate in the circular motion, W, anticlockwise, and the velocity at this point is V, and velocity of this P is a VP and so on. So the first slide is about kinetic energy, which is half mv square. Uh, the rest you can read as your information. It's just to recap what is kinetic energy, half mv square. And recap that when you view this one as a vector, um, you can write in the vector form. So later we will revisit this one again in the tutorial question. Okay. So just as a starting for today, just a remind uh, of the kinetic energy half and we Okay, this one your reading, your revision. I won't ask you how to design the equation. At the end, we only apply one equation. Quite lengthy, uh, the derivation set. At the end, we arrive at this uh, rank lengthy equation. Um, when we look at particles in the previous chapter, we only look at the first part, half and B square. But when you look at rigid body, you have another two components you need to pay attention to, which is the mass effect, there is mv square. You need to consider what happened to the center of mass, which is uh, your I, I, X, X, I, y, y, or the IG effect, right? And also the moment of inertia effect, R square, right? I, moment of inertia I, and center of mass at G, and so on. So you just need to remember when it comes to chapter seven, you need to do three component calculation. One is half mv square, and then this one uh, we will explain later. Second component is body central mass, which is what happened, the effect of central mass. And one more is moment of inertia. So you need to add these two components in your calculation when it comes to rigid body. Okay. Because in the particle, you don't see central mass. In the particle, you don't see moment of inertia. Okay, this one later, we will come back to this equation. Important, you remember you have, you have three, three components. Huh? Mass effect, central of mass G, and moment inertia, three components. Okay. So, if everything happened in the center of gravity, where will happen in this chapter? So, it will eliminate the center part, which is y bar, x bar will equal zero. At the end, you arrive at one equation, which is half mv square, which is particle, which is the mass effect, plus the initial result. 
So these are the two equations. We need to add one more component for the for this. Okay, half W square I B. How to define I B? This one for table. Standard, standard shape. If no standard shape, it will give you center of uh, radius of gyration, which is K value. If you're given K value, I equal to M K square. You just remember that, huh? So, moment of inertia. I F two I equal to I G plus M B square. Okay, this one from table. Or if you're given K value or radius of gyration. Okay, so today kinetic energy half half all the square I. something new for this direction. So again, one is from the center of left and we convert, we convert from the previous equation into what happened to the center of gravity. The, the, we're only interested in velocity at the center of left. Okay. And the inertia effect at the center of left. So if you have a translation process, translation process, translation move in the straight line, move up, move down, no rotation. So when no rotation, no omega, no omega, this one doesn't need to come. So again, uh, when you have only translation, move left, right, or you're given x, y direction, or you're given a straight railroad, or are you given a one straight road? Then, or there's a surface being straight, then you don't have omega. You only arrive at half mv square. You're not interested in velocity as a tensor. So this one, rigid body. Yeah? Rigid body. We focus on central curve. What happens is that uh, rotation, when you have some body with the rotation, what happened to the when you have a rotation at a fixed axis? Uh, you need to use full complete. Really, there's a center of G, even there's a T here, it rotates, there is a G center of gravity moving tangent direction. So you need to include MV there, the V at the central curve T. And then omega, of course, rotating, you have omega. Okay. Again, derivation, I don't ask you, but you can look into the previous slides, uh, four or three slides, you, if you're interested, go and read. Okay. Then if you, you can write, you can transform this equation, half MV square, this V, in the uh, r and omega term v equal to omega square uh, sorry v uh, v equal to r omega r omega or omega r okay a n equal to a t equal to something a n is a n is omega square r, a t is alpha r. Is it correct? I always confuse between these two. Yeah. Okay. So these are the few equations when you link with the rigid forty. You put them together. Put them together. You can factor the omega square out if you want. Okay. So even though you don't have the v, you can use r and omega. 
to find we factor the omega square out okay so we will tell you what half m v square also actually so this is omega square but if you use omega square this is actually is i o you see the i o form i equals to i g plus m v square big form i equal to i g plus m v square in this case because it rotates circular motion your g become r the g become the r okay. so you can memorize this one right as a general term every time you see rotating body and there's a pin there and this one rotate then you write the full equation this general equation transform bg into r omega then you factor out you arrive at this equation Okay, uh, in simpler form, you can just write IO plus omega. So this one, IT at the end, P e will equal to IO, half IO, omega. So if you're seeing P equal to half MV square plus half omega square IG, when you see this one means it will go into general plane motion. General plane means mixture of translation and rotation. Okay. So you can even solve this IO, this IO with replacing with IC. Same. You can replace IO with IC form. Omega square. IC, just use your ruler. Let's say you have a body with two points. You just use your ruler point to the end of the other one. Okay, and if it's VA, VD, so you do use your ruler join. This will be your IC point. Why we need IC? Because from IC, you can learn about your omega this omega share with a share with b okay v equal to omega r once you find the w you can use uh, omega equal to v divided by r equal to v divided by r v a v b like this okay your omega is sharing with all the points So sometimes you use IC faster huh? because you only need to find the uh, the R here, R, R here, and you can join them together. You will form uh, uh, a triangular because you know that this is ninety degree, this is ninety degree, and you can find using trigonometry. Okay, now we look at work. Just a just a recap of what's in work. Work we use capital U. It involved with F. When you have force, you have moment. Both create work. When force, when force go parallel with the distance. Go parallel with the distance, two vector pointing same direction, you get positive work. When force and distance go opposite direction, you get negative work. Okay, so this is first type of the work when you have force. Second type of work, when you have moment, you take moment multiplied by anger. Same, when they both same direction, you get positive work. When you have uh, different direction, one go anti-clockwise, one go clockwise, you get negative work, same like the function, uh, the force uh, principle. Okay, so there are only two mechanisms that can create work. If you have force, force multiplied by prop propeller distance, you get work. And if you have moment, you take moment multiplied by the change of angle, you get work also. 
So this one depends on the free body diagram, right? So you need to be careful lah, to see whether got force, force or usually have. If you have moment, then you need to consider the work done by the moment. The rest is just derivation of equation. You already familiar. It just tell you that force must always parallel with the distance. If force 90 degree, no work done. Okay, just tell you that like, this is the, the equation that tell you when cos 90 is zero. So this is tell you how to find the, the work. Basically still find force multiplied by the parallel distance. If you have an angle, force come in with the angle, just split the force into X and Y. And then you're more interested in the distance or the path that you are traveling. Uh, you want to change all the force, go parallel with the, 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 the path uh, or the distance you travel. Okay? So that is the, 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 the main principle. Uh, uh, the rest you can read from the slides. Okay, another one is work. Okay, work, W, uh, weight also means force. Uh. W, the capital W, weight, MG also means force. So when force multiply by the distance, also create work. So don't confuse by the path. Huh? It doesn't matter where does the how how it fly go go in a circle or something. We are not interested. We are more interested in the, the the location, means starting and end point. Okay, and this is pointing down. So we are more interested in the direction or the distance we travel in parallel direction. So W always point down. So we're more interested in Y direction or H. Okay. So work done by weight is MGH. Uh, so MGH, you get work. Okay. So Y negative, because in this case, you see the arrowhead, your datum, your datum is from here go up positive. So you measure from here to here, from here in the arrowhead pathway from here. So actually your Y is going up positive. So going up positive, but your weight point down. So these two vector go opposite, you get negative work. Just remember that. Uh. Refer to datum. Uh. Refer to where is your data, where is positive. Uh. Okay. Spring also create work. Why? Spring you can calculate force. Spring force. How do we, how you get spring force? You get F multiplied by the spring coefficient. F equal to KS. Okay. So this one stretch and stretch. At the end, the work done by the spring is negative uh, half kx square minus half kx square one. Right? Okay, so this got unstretched, S and S2 and so on. So why there's a negative uh, in this case? Um, because at the end, um, uh, and stress. So when you pull, so this one, it means you pull the spring to the right. When you pull the spring to the right, but the force pointing to the left. Okay, you, you imagine you are the body, you attach to the spring, you move to the left, you feeling that the spring is still pulling you back. So the arrowhead is pointing to the left. But you're walking to the right. So you, you, when you walk the distance to the right, your force pointing to the left, opposite direction, you get negative work. Okay. So this, to come to this, actually there's a differentiation, integration from here to here, but we just keep the process. You uh, just apply this uh, equation. Or when you when you when you uh, rearrange the equation, 
you actually can write half kx1 minus half kx2. In this case, where your s2 is more than s1. Okay, forces that do not do work, some forces do not do work. For example, this is important. Huh? This is a tricky problem that some of you, you might miss out. Okay, so friction do not do work. Why friction do not do work? Especially on the round bodies. Uh, this case is focused on round bodies. Huh? Why? Because friction on the round bodies, although this one rotate clockwise, so the, the body will move to the right, but the friction will always act on one point. Only work on one point. So the, the distance is always instantaneous, maybe zero point something, so very small. So work done by the friction is zero, always at one point of it. Okay. Um, normal force also do not do work because it's always pointing at one point or also. Okay. Um, in this case, in this case, uh, W go down. If this one is uh, in the flat surface, W also do not do work. In this case, round body. Although W is a force, but force multiplied by distance, this distance is not parallel because W go down, but this roller go to the right, perpendicular distance. So perpendicular distance do not do work. Remember that? So this one, round bodies, when you see the question round bodies, a bit tricky. Huh? A bit tricky. So remember this slide. Force that do not do work. Um, this one is by moment. So I give you the equation already on the whiteboard where you consider moment. Moment multiplied by the change of angle will do work. The rest is derivation. If you have interest, go and read. Okay, go and read. Huh? If you have interest, go and read. The summary is. Summary this one. How to get moment? Always you, for example, this case, how you get moment of this one, you take either you put your hand on one of the arrow, the distance here to here multiply by the force to get moment. Or you can put at the O, you see two forces, you combine, you still get the same moment. It is it depends on where you want to see your moment. But moment also very tricky. It depends on where you put your Okay, at the end, this is the more important equation. Work done by the moment, if you take moment multiplied by the change of angle, you get work. Okay, that will be the, the thing. Okay. So again, uh, still looking at the vector. So M and the theta have the same sense, means same direction, you get positive work. Same with force multiplied by the same direction of displacement, then you get positive wave. Okay. So the rest you can read. You still at the end arrive at moment multiplied by change of angle, we get work. Okay, the rest you can read for your information. Okay, let's look at example one. We are given a bar. Subject to a couple of, uh, subject to a moment of 50 newton meter and a force P, which always apply perpendicular to the end of the bar. It is here, always perpendicular. Also, spring have unstretched length of 0.5 meter. Remain in the vertical position due to the roller guide of B. So, roller guide B. So, this one can only slide left, right. And always vertical. This spring always vertical. It's vertical. Only the length will change. Determine the total work done by all forces acting on the bar. We focus on the bar. When it has rotated downward, 
zero to ninety degrees. Okay, so we ask you to find total work. In this case, work. Remember, what will generate work? Force generate work. Moment generate work. Force here, it can be anything. It can be external force. It can be spring force. It can be weight. Okay. Remember, there is a if you're given mass, uh, there's a purpose. The question gives you mass there. In the question, remember, go and pin the center of gravity there, center of mass there. When you solve question six, question seven, uh, chapter six, chapter seven, chapter eight question, you will forget or you will see question like this. It will not tell you where is G point, where is the center of mass, but you're given you by the mass. Okay, so I remember that uh, W also do work as long as the displacement go parallel. As long as so the force go parallel with the distance, then it will do work. Okay, in this case, moment, additional moment is given. So moment will do work. Okay, so this one got pin at A. So this one rotate this way with the P always perpendicular. So you can see uh, this point here. Actually, if you stand here, you are actually P is rotating in a circular motion. P rotate in a circular motion. So um, you need to be aware of that. And change. You only focus on the rock. A. There's a P. Then remember, uh, there's a central mass there. W. Uh, then copy spring. Spring is always two meter. Then spring always pull up. Always pull up. So go vertical. So write F spring. You can write at the side F spring equal to KX. KS, you can write, you forget, or you can write here, equal to KM, you can write here, W equal to M, you don't substitute value, just write the numbers, and the moment, and you give it the angle K part. Okay, so this basically is your free body diagram. You always draw free body diagram. But the most interesting part is you're given the spring. We already give you the original length. And that have a length of so and so. So you're given the length of here. B to A is 0 0.75. We need, we need to we need to estimate when the angle is 0. Does the spring, what happened to the spring? When the theta equal to 90 degrees, what happened with the spring? Length, uh, length of the spring does that happen or not? Why? Because by the length of the spring, it will affect the spring force. Here. Then the rest, after you, you have all the force here already, you convert into work equation. Total work equals to the what kind, what, what doing work. So W will do work. U W plus. So this one, we go down. We go down. So it, when when at zero degree, uh, or you 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 don't want to confuse yourself. You can draw like two diagram. One is zero degree. What uh, zero degree? One is ninety degree. You can do two diagram so that you can see the differences. So W actually do work. W move here to here. W move here to here. W will do work, but it moves right. So angle is so angle is here. So sorry, yeah, I labor wrong already. Vertical is zero degree. Uh, vertical uh, horizontal is zero, uh, zero degree. Vertical is ninety degree. So this is W move from here to here. So Direction go down, W go down, so positive W work. 
Then what else? T. T is here. T move from here to here. T move down. So down with the down Y. We also done positive work by the T. Then what about the spring? Spring. What? Uh, you need to you need to do some some estimation first. Huh? So the original length is 0 0.5. So when it's zero, what is the length of this one here? Huh? So here, you need to remember, huh? here, the gap here, here to here is 0 0.75. So when this one's zero degree, your spring actually is scratching. Huh? Original length is 0 0.5. Huh? Okay, 0 0.5. So the, at zero degree, actually, there's some space here that is stretch, stretching the spring. So at zero degree, actually, there's a spring force already. Okay, so here to here, the spring will always pull up, but you move down, so you'll do negative spring work. Yeah, so I, I, lost, I, I hope you can see the, the thing there. The rest is just substitution inside. It. Okay, I'll show you how uh, detail work done. You draw the free body diagram. Uh, okay, just now I, I forget about the pin there, external force connector there. Okay, so they are AX, AY there. Any X, AY do not do work because it was pin there, do not move. So no, don't have move, don't have a distance traveled. So zero, zero. But free body diagram, please put A X A Y. Okay. So I miss out A X A Y in my free body diagram. Spring P e, W M A Y. Okay. Put in all the dimension. Any question so far? Any question? She yeah. is going this way, yeah. Yeah, horizontal part. It always, uh, the dimension T always perpendicular to the end of the bar. Yeah. You are not interested in X and Y work. You're more interested in the distance traveled by the P. From start to end. I'll show you. So weight, weight will move down. Okay, weight will move down. So the unit for work is Joe. Joe also means energy. So W multiplied by 1.5, you get 147.2. And you should understand why perspective, huh? because the displacement go down, W go down. So moment, in this case, moment, uh, in this case, I need to highlight the angle that you use here is in radian. This, uh, this angle, theta is in radian. This angle, in your calculation, you use radian to calculate. So, 90 degree is pi divided by 2. 360 degree equal to 2 pi. Equal to 90 degree is uh, half pi. You multiply, you get moment generate positive uh, 78.5 joule. Spring box. Uh oh, too fast. 
Okay, spring force. You use this equation minus bracket kx2 square minus half square 2. So when it's zero degree, uh, the spring actually stretch something. It stretch 0 0.25. How to find 0 0.25? Take this gap 0 0.75 minus the original length of the spring, which is 0 0.5. So you stretch a certain length. So at 90 degree, 90 degree, this one, uh, this this length here is two. So when it stretch 90 degree, so it's the 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 length is actually two cm, a uh, two meter plus seven five minus the original length. Anyone cannot see that one? Who don't understand it? Who don't who can get? Why, why, how you get 2.25? Who cannot? Okay. Because the spring tied to the two, two meter from the A. So when it's 90 degree, the spring will be two meet, uh, will be two meter from here. When this B reach here, so it's two meter plus 7.75 minus the original length 0 0.5. So you stretch zero uh, two point two five. Up between inside there, you get negative seven five two. Okay. okay, what about P? Just now your friend asked, huh? As P bounded, so we are in the distance it traveled. Okay. So it traveled by a distance of 90 degree or pi divided 2 multiply 3. Why? Because we are using a small section of radius in pi radian r s. So s equal to r theta. Your force is actually always pointing in a circular motion. This is P. Always 90 degrees to the other point. So it's in the circular section. So you use F equal to R theta. The distance traveled by this P, this P should I should go like this. P and the distance of 90 degree is your S. Okay, so that's why the P distance that we use 4.712, we take R theta, uh, R theta, theta in radian. Okay, so for chapter seven, the angle we use uh, radian, we use radian, especially when you calculate work. Ma uh, moment multiplied by radian angle. Okay. So this one is a bit tricky, tricky part. Huh? A bit tricky part. Then you sum up all the force. Pin don't have uh, reaction. Uh, don't uh, reaction and pin don't do work. But if the question asks you to find uh, a x uh, a x a y, you have two condition. Uh. We have two scenario. If the question asks you a x a y, you need to answer when when theta equals zero, what is your a x a y? When theta equal to ninety degree, what is your a x a y? By using equilibrium, all the force equals zero, all the all the force equals zero, all the moment equals zero at point A. Then you sum up all the work. The answer will be five to eight joule, just for your reference. Okay, so this will be the standard lah, standard uh, procedure every time you solve work. We build free body diagram. See it before and after. What is before and after? Then remind yourself work actually only done by two things: force and moment. 
and doing the calculation for the moment, remember to use the radium and not to be. Then basically you solve all the problems. Okay. Any questions so far? Good luck. Okay. So if you're done, uh, this one, of course, there are other examples. Like you can go and uh, open up other textbooks to see the example of this one. The next one, you work into principle of work and energy, where you have seen this one in your test one, question two. So principle work and energy means you only focus on kinetic energy and the work done. Just now, the example just now is on the work. Work done by force moment. Kinetic energy is, just now we already tell you, kinetic energy just now is in the beginning of uh, plus kinetic energy in rigid body actually is half I W square. Or uh, you can split into two, half MV square plus W square IG. Either this one or this one. So sometimes you can straight away use the C. It depends on uh, which one is more effective. There is no one exact uh, solution. You need to see the of the question, but these are the equations used. Okay, I think you're familiar with how this one works. That's really nice. So for rigid body, you only need you need to consider uh, translation motion, rotation motion, which is given by this one half mv square and omega square ig. Um, and the right hand side will be the kinetic. Work already explained. So let's see example two. Let me have an example. Now example two, you see there's a spring there also. There's a body, there's an O point. Convert into body diagram. So this one will be have OX, OY. And there's a moment given, so there's a spring force. Spring force, if this one rotate clockwise, rotate clockwise, if you are the point of this one, you will be feeling something pulling you down. Right? If you are standing, if you are the disc of, uh, component, when you rotate, you'll feel that the force actually pulling you down. Although the, the spring force is stretching. You are given all the information. Omega is given, starting from ref. You need to find angle. Determine the angle through which it must rotate to attain an angular uh, velocity with omega. It means you need to tell the user how many angles you need to rotate. When you let go, this one will swing an uh, angular velocity of two radians per second. Is at upon a constant couple moment, uh, five newton meter there. Spring is original and stretch, and the coil walks around the rim of the heat. So when you see spring, we see there's a moment. So you need to find the angle. Work. Uh, you need to do the work. So in this case, you need to use principle of work for energy to solve this question. So you draw free body diagram. O X O Y. Remember, in chapter seven onward, your question we will not show you the capital G point. Remember, ah, uh, you always W at the center of your object. W go down. All the um, moment you put inside there, then there is a force, spring force pull you now. Then you write principle of and uh, work and energy. T1 plus work one to two equals to T2. Then you calculate. Uh, start from rest means T10. Uh, kinetic energy. So T10. Okay, so if you put in these three equations also, omega starting zero, so zero, zero, V0. 
IG omega zero. So I put T one zero. Okay. If right, so if you write T one equals zero, it will give you one mark. Huh? This simple uh, statement here. Or you can go to this equation. You just draw an arrow and write equal zero. Also for one mark. Okay. Now P two you need to calculate by using. In this case, I use I O uh, W square. So I just I O because this one at the center of gravity, center of mass. So G is, is at O. So go to the table, go to the this object, copy I X X equation. You will get half M R square. Okay, this one. Huh? You go to the table. This is a this. So you're looking from the top. You're looking from the top with the capital G point at the center. That's here. So here, you have one point here, one point here. You are the center, the Z. So read the Isaac Z, not IXX, because you're reading from the center in this axis. So Isaac Z half and out square. Put this one inside here. Remember, you, uh, you don't need to memorize uh, for the I. You, you just need to read from the table. Or if the shape is irregular, again, you're given direction. Either the direction. Straight away, put in an empty Okay. Substitute the value. You have mass, you have a radius, you have a omega square, omega two, two radian. Put in there, press calculator, you get 1.2. Okay, once you have that one, you need to calculate work. What do work? Uh, you ask yourself, bro, what do work? Only two things do work, force and moment. Moment sure do work. Uh, later we come back to moment. We do force first. O X O Y do not do work. O X O Y do not do work. W does W do work? No. Only spring do work. Okay. So spring do work. Uh, what else? Wait, do work. Couple moment. Do work. Um, okay, this one show you the moment first. What do you think the theta will be? So you calculate the theta. So if you don't know, you just put theta there. M, theta, Joe. If you don't know, just put a parameter there. Why? Because later you are you substitute inside here. You already have the T1 and T2. Spring, you apply the equation just now. Spring work done by the spring. Negative bracket half kx square minus half kx square. So before you start, no stretching, zero. So you just cancel the S1. You'll get negative work. So you have um, the moment work and the spring work. P10, 1.2. You focus on the center. K, you know. K, you know. You can calculate the S for the spring, can or not? Can, right? By using this, this approach. S equal to R theta. Because the spring of the one you rotate, how many S the spring pulling is the same as the angle. 
No, you use this approach. S equal to R theta. The, uh, the S that is moving equal to R theta. So you put in there. R theta. R is 0 0.2. Wait. Okay. So again, this one is important huh, for chapter uh, 7. This one is important. Huh? You, of you, you might forget. Huh? This one of you. B and S. Most of the Pallas mistakes. Okay, so here you only have one unknown, theta. Again, when you solve it, your answer will be in radian. Huh? The question asks you, anger. Here, anger, you need to tell me in degree. Huh? In your calculation, you use radian. But when you solve the question, you need to tell how many degree. Huh? Uh, you need to solve it as your engineer telling an operator how many angles you need to rotate the machine. If you tell, uh, please rotate 0 0.5 radian, the operator will look at you and don't know what you're saying. But you say, like, okay, rotate 30 degrees, and then you know how to do it. Huh? So you solve, uh, uh, this one actually got a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation because square. So you can uh, solving by the root, or you can use the x equal to minus b, and so on. Uh, that one. Okay. So showing your work uh, in the exam, how you solve that one, you must show your steps uh, or what approach you use. Uh, using root method or use the uh, x method, x equal to uh, minus b plus minus square root b squared minus 2a t divided by 2a by that one okay show the steps huh, in exam at the end we arrive at some radian remember to put final answer in degree you need to uh, imagine yourself your engineer talking to a operator who, who do not learn radian before okay so this is how you Ooh. Example three, uh, same with your homework. Go home and see, and okay, go home and review. So I'll just skip this one. Go home and view. If a question, come and ask me. Example four, um, also same. Uh, but I think I I will explain this one. Huh? Okay, so this one, um. Sometimes we give you a question by using giving giving you one diagram, and then you need to draw transfer the diagram into diagram. Sometimes, right? so you're given a pipe suspended at the two forklift, uh, the, the two bar there. They call two times the two uh, arm there. Shown in the photo, undergo swinging motion such as theta equal to thirty degree. This one is thirty degree. Uh, it is momentary at rest. Determine the normal friction, normal and friction force. So you need to find the contact force and the friction force acting on each of the tile. So remember, the question already sent, uh, sent uh, already tell you there are two arm there. We need to tell you to find on each time. So this is a tricky question that usually you will be in final exam. It will tell you two objects or uh, two, two, two wheels or something, then you'll find you what is the force of individual wheel. Okay. So measurement of the pipe and suspension show in the figure, you know the mass of suspender and thickness of the piston. So we need to find the friction force at here. Okay, center of the object, G is given, radius is given. Um, the O to G is given, angle is given. So in this case, you solve using principle of work and energy. Kinetic energy, so T1, 
start from rest equal to zero, P one zero. And in this case, we only need to use kinetic energy equal to kinetic energy equal to I O W square or I O I C W square. So we will compute by yeah, there are two points either at fixed point O or at the center of gravity. It depends on where you want to refer to. All right. Consider the pipe to be a thin ring. So you can refer to this standard shape in the table. You assume as a standard ring. Then you will see IG equal to MR square. This one refer to table. Huh? So you have this one. P2 equal to MV square. And this is a rigid body, so you're referring to V point. Put in all the value. Okay, all the value. So M is 700. V is, uh, okay, V, V equal to what? V equal to R omega. V equal to R omega. So you have R, you have uh, omega, omega you don't know. If you don't know, you just put the uh, omega there. I, G, this one. Um, I is ML square. Okay, I, G equal to ML square. Again, uh, how you get ML square? Read from paper, read from the appendix. So you solve, your T2 will arrive at one omega value. So you still haven't finished. You need to find the work done by the system. So the, uh, there are two ways. Uh. This one is from the center of mass, uh, center of gravity, center of mass G. I'll show you another calculation if you do at O point. What happened to your IO? Huh? So if you IO, IO equal to IO equal to IO equal to IG plus MR, uh, IO equal to IG plus MD square. IG, uh, I O. So I I G this one you read from table. It's a ring, so it's a uh, M R square. And M D square this one, M the the D distance from O to G is zero point four. Uh, here. Okay. So there are two methods. You choose whatever method that you feel comfortable. Okay, we are using two methods here. You still arrive, arrive at the same equation. Huh? So now we go into the work. Work, you draw free body diagram. Remember the W or rigid body. And the pin there, not pin in this case, there's a contact there. O X and O Y, or you can put it, uh, you can put it as O X O Y. The O Y is actually the normal contact force. F T is the one that going this way. Then you put in all the parameter angle there, theta. So work only done by two things: force and moment. In this case, there's no there's no moment there, so you don't need to find a uh, moment. So you have delta y. Delta y is here. Uh, delta y is here. So normal friction force on this one do not do work because it do not move, as this one swing. So only weight do work. So this one swing from this position to this position. So it's from here, 
swing to here. From here, swing to here. So there is a changes of delta y here. There's a changes of delta y there. So delta y equal to 0.4, which is the distance of here to here, minus this O to G is 4. This distance here to here is with the angle. So we, you know this one, to, this one is 0 0.4. It's a triangular. This is 0 0.4. You have an angle, you don't know this side. So this one, you are saying this one maybe is, this one is 0 0.4, uh, this 90 degree uh, cos theta. So you are more interested to know delta y here. So you take this one minus this side, you get delta y. Delta y is 0 0.5 something. Put it into the equation. P10, work only done by W, and is moving down because here to here is moved down. The distance is down. W is down, so positive work. Equal to T2, we define what is your T2. So there's only one omega there. Okay. One omega there. W2 equal to 2.4 radian per second. Now we find the omega, but the question asks you to find normal and friction force. You still need to go back to two diagram. So free body diagram and kinematic diagram. Huh? So you need to establish this, this two diagram. Free body diagram at O, you have OX, OY. You have W point down, and you have acceleration in because this one swing there. This one swing there, so it's a circular motion actually. From the G, uh, if you look at the G, G will swing in a circular motion. So when circular motion, you will have M A tangent direction, M A normal direction. And remember, you have uh, alpha there, IG alpha, that make the thing rotate. Distance is 0 0.4. You solve using F equal to MA, tangent direction, normal direction, and moment at O equal to IO alpha. IO alpha, it means you need to take IO equal to IG plus MD square. Or you can read, uh, this one cannot, uh, you have two body uh, there. So I just give you the answer. So FT equal to 700. FT, this side is referred to the free body diagram. MA refer to this diagram. Okay. So normal force also, NT minus W, MAG normal direction refer to this here. And transform your AN. Your AN equal to omega square R. Omega square R. A n equal to omega square r. Just now you define 2.4 omega, so use the omega value. So m o here, m o means this refer to the free body diagram. So you look at the free body diagram, moment at o, w do not do moment because it's along the axis. Then IOA, 
So IOA here, actually you are doing IG plus MD square. So this one you refer to the uh, table, will give you ML square. So you get the first one, ML square plus MD square. M, this one refer to table, give you ML square plus MD square. What is the D? Is the distance between the O and the G, which is give you 0 0.4. Then alpha. GT equal to alpha R. AT in tangent direction, acceleration in tangent direction equal to alpha R. So you write 0 0.4 alpha put inside there. So you will solve actually your alpha zero, acceleration in tangent zero, FT zero. Your normal contact force is 8.4 kilonewton. Put in three decimal place and three significant figure. Okay. Um, and again, this is from the two arm. All this value is from the two arm. It asks you what each of the arms, each of the time. So remember to divide into two. Huh? Your value of contact, you need to divide by two because you have two arms supporting the object. You have two arms here. So this value NT is actually the two arms. The question asks you each time, so you need to divide by two. Huh? Same, the answer, uh, the question about the vehicle, we've got two wheels. Uh, remember when the question are you single wheel, remember to divide by two. Okay. The rest is same. Uh, the rest is same. So due to swing motion subject to greater normal force, this is to find uh, the contact force just without the swinging, what happened? Just because of the weight you divide by two, you will get three point uh, 3.4. So this is swinging. 4.24 is swinging motion. This is without swinging. We need static motion. It's 3. Point something. When you swing, not contact, become bigger, become 4. From 3, become 4. This one go a bit faster. We just repeated, then uh, we call it a thing. Okay, conservation of energy. This one you read. Um, potential energy, we already mentioned, you refer to datum. If the object is above the datum, you get positive energy. Below the datum, you get negative energy. Elastic, we already mentioned just now, also same. Spring always give you positive value. So when you have when you have conservation of energy, um, so conservation of energy will be this is from the principle of uh, work and energy. So when you pull your conservation energy on the left, you can write v one v two. And if you want to complete one, uh, the complete equation, including the non-conservative energy will be T1 plus V1 means kinetic plus potential plus all the non-conservative energy equal to the energy after. But because we are focusing on conservative energy, we will cancel out this one. Means we do not uh, consider all the friction force, um, all the non-conservative, like uh, non-conservative like friction force. Uh. Then at the end, if the question asks you to use conservation, you only look at potential before, a uh, potential kinetic before equal to potential kinetic after. 
this one you see already uh, in the particles, we just extend into this one. Okay, so this is just a note. What is the difference between this one and this one? Uh? This one you consider friction inside there. Okay. Example five. Maybe I just have a quick discussion. Um, okay, rod A, B is given. Confine means A can move left, right. B can move up, down. Spring have stiffness, given st stiffness, and unstretched when theta zero. So there's a theta there. So theta zero means B is at this position. Determine angular velocity omega when theta zero. If the rod release from rest at 30 degree, means you charge, you charge the spring, then you let go. You want to find the omega. Ignore the mass of the. It asks you to ignore. Ignore mass of the slider box. Means this one means in your calculation, you don't need to show W there. If we ask you to ignore mass, you don't need to show W there. But you're given the mass of rod, so there's a W for the rod. Okay, very quick. You show free body diagram. W datum. So there's a datum there. So this is a triangular. Triangular. Length is four, you have theta. So here and here is sine. Okay, this hypotenuse and the opposite is sine. So we want to find S1 equal to 0.4 sine theta. Okay. What else? Okay. So when it's at this position, zero. Okay, this is zero and w is at here so what you do at position one here center of gravity is below datum so you have negative energy potential energy because below datum uh, what else da, da, da. so the potential will have negative mgh of w and positive because you charge uh you charge the uh the spring you charge the spring spring energy always positive huh? spring energy always positive okay you substitute all the value you get v1 Okay, this one you can see uh, later. Important you understand why this one is negative, one positive. The rest you substitute. I think I make a mistake in my slides, especially here. This small is not 0.4, it should be 0.2. My y1 here, it should be point. 2, not 0 0.4. 0 0.4 is the B point. Huh? This one is 0.4, but here is 0.2. This small triangular here. Okay, so that's why here is 0.2, and that one is 0.4. Okay, once you have V1 at position number two, potential energy becomes zero because it's near to the datum. Uh, center of gravity let rotate at datum, so S2 is zero. So at position two, potential energy all is zero. Okay, because uh, the G reach zero point here, MGH H zero at the datum point. Kinetic energy, so it release from rest. So V equal to omega R. Okay, V to omega R. So rest is zero. Uh, I think my formula here, I missed out the R here. So this 
So position two, angular velocity is two. It will be move uh, clockwise or uh, anti-clockwise. And center of mass will be V V2. I should show you a V2 over here. Uh, there's a V2 here. So the kinetic energy after will, will be half mvg plus ig, this equation. You use this equation for the uh, rock. Okay, and you substitute the value. Then how you find the V, G, and W2. We use a rod like this one. So if you refer to this point, A, G, and B, your V is this way. Your RC, we use your ruler to draw a line here from the tail. So you, you, you can get your IC point over here. So you can get V equal to omega R or R omega. You know that the distance from IC point to G is 0 0.2. So you can convert V in the equation here, VG here in the term of R omega. So I substitute back the equation over here equal to omega. So your T2 is in omega terms. T2 is in omega terms. Then you put it in the conservation of energy. You only have one omega missing in the terms. Zero, have one constant value uh, with something with omega plus zero. Again, why V2 zero? Because you already reached to the datum position. Huh? datum position. So omega reference answer is 4.8 radian per second. Rotate in the anticlockwise. Okay, so this is how you use the conservation of energy. Um, don't worry, if the question need you to use conservation energy, you will see the question mentioned, uh, force you to use um, Use conservation energy in your solution to find something. It'll give you this direction. Okay. This one, example six, your homework, go and see. Go and read. Still the same, you just recap V equal to R omega. Okay, so with this, we conclude chapter seven. Huh? Go home and see. Huh? This is one of the questions inside your assignment. Okay, sign your attendance. Huh? Conclude chapter seven today.